Hi everyone, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what the cards have for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, so if you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email address is going to be listed just below the video. Interesting. There is a fair bit of fire energy here in the um, in the tarot spread. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. Now, Nine of Swords is this energy of staying up late at night. It's a very unfocused kind of energy. Um, this could be your energy. Or it could be the person that you're connected to. It's like very unfocused is what it feels like. Um, Maybe you're having some sleep issues or sleep disturbances lately. Maybe you are an insomniac. Um, maybe you're just having a hard time falling asleep because you've got a lot on your mind. There is a lot that is weighing heavily on your mind. Um, or there's a lot that's weighing heavily on your heart. Um, and at night when you're all alone with your thoughts, it appears as though that's when, um, you know, that's when all... Like at night when you're alone and you're not as distracted with anything, it feels as though that's when your thoughts come flooding in. There is something here that's keeping you up or there's something here that's keeping uh, someone up at night. Uh, something here that is bothering you. Um, something that is agitating or irritating your energy. Something that you wish you said or you hadn't said. Something you wish, you know, you wish some, you did something differently or... Um, you wish that you had the chance to do things differently, you know, you'd do it again. It's this kind of energy where it's a dark place. And the further you sink into this kind of energy, the darker that it gets. It's no coincidence that the Nine of Swords is a part of the... Um, the mental realm, you know, um, and it's no coincidence that the mental realm is represented by the swords. I feel like what the Nine of Swords is telling us um, is that you need to cut ties. Um, you or this person needs to detach themselves from whatever it is that's bothering you. Um, because the reality is whatever has happened has happened. You trying to change it you trying to go back and replay it in your mind is only resisting it is it not it's only resisting it rather than accepting it like whatever has happened he has happened and i think that with the nine of swords the message that i'm picking up very strongly is stop resisting it whatever this is like it's happened it's said and done the only thing to do is to accept it and move forward from it i feel like if this is someone that's connected to you i feel like how this person feels is that Right now, at this particular point in time, as we do this reading, as you're listening to this reading, or at the time that you come across this reading, see, there is someone who is pulling on your energy. Remember how the Knight of Swords just sort of, as I was shuffling uh, the cards, the Knight of Swords just sort of fell out. This is a very charged up energy. There is someone who is connected to you, um, perhaps emotionally or energetically, someone whom you have a very deep connection with, and there is something that is sending this person into a panic. There is some like there's someone here who feels like they just need to reach out to you. They need to contact you. They need to say something to you. They and they need to do it now. For some reason, there's like this state of urgency right now. Um, 
it's funny because I feel like this could come after a long time of no contact, no communication with this person. Maybe you haven't seen this person in a long time. Maybe they've fallen off your radar. Maybe you guys have been at a somewhat separation or disconnection from one another. Um, but it's, yeah, it's interesting. It's really interesting that this person feels like they need to contact you now. They need to urgently get something off their chest or they need to ask you out now. Uh, maybe they feel like, you know, maybe they're scared that you're going to go off market and someone else is going to come along and swoop you up and they're going to miss out. Maybe they um, heard heard it through the grapevine that you're seeing someone or you're interested in someone and so this person feels like they need to act quick before it's too late. Um, I don't exactly know what's motivating this really urgent behavior but there's obviously something here that this person feels like they need to reach out and they need to communicate with you or they need to communicate something to you and it's like now now is the time that they feel they need to do it um, I do think that this whoever this person is there is a deep chemistry there's a deep attraction between you and this individual even if you're in a no contact uh, situation with this person the feelings or the attraction has not dissolved like you know they may have said or done things to you to have hurt you but you still are attracted to this person you know there's still a physical chemistry that you share with this person and there's still feelings there I feel even if someone has hurt you here or if you've hurt them you still feel something for them you still feel attracted to them you still care about them you still feel you know this person is attracted um attractive to you and you're attracted to them so you know that that attraction that chemistry the intense feeling the intense connection that you share with this person has not dissolved it has not dissipated into thin air and so king of wands energy i do feel like there is someone here who finds you very attractive someone who wants to it feels like there's someone who really wants to reach out and connect with you or someone who really wants to see you or ask you out or say something to you and again, emphasis on they feel like they need to do it now. There's also a very charged up energy. I don't know exactly what's motivating this person. But to me, it almost feels like they've had a wake up call or they've had some sort of awakening where they finally come to this sudden realization. It's finally dawned on them. They finally had this light bulb moment, this aha moment, this epiphany that, you know, you're the one for them, that they've had it so good with you. And um, maybe this is someone who played games with you and, you know, they lost their king and queen in the process as a result. And when they were playing games, they were so deep in it that didn't, you know, they didn't know what was happening or the consequences uh, that the actions were going to have. But after everything, after all the dust settled and everything, um, I feel like this person has really, like it suddenly just dawned on them that, you know, they've lost you. They've lost their king. They've lost their queen in the process. Um, and now it feels like that they want to come back and they want to make amends. They want to reconnect. They want to reconcile. Or they feel like, because swords are, they govern mental energy. Honestly, there is something here that they desperately want to communicate to you. Um, and there's just this desperate energy, just this uh, desperate feeling behind whatever it is. This person feels like they're running out of time, interestingly enough. They feel like if they don't say it now, they're not sure when they're going to say it. So we expect to hear from this person um, around the time of this reading or shortly after. Expect for this person to come in and you'll feel it, you'll sense it in the energy that you know, they desperately want to catch up with you, they desperately want to see you, or there's something that they desperately want to get off their chest. Um, I do think that there is some sort of, there is some sort of wanting to proceed with caution. I feel like this is someone who has hurt you before in the past, and so I get, you know, someone here is a little suspicious. Maybe this is someone who's broken your trust, um, maybe you broke theirs, um, maybe you, you know, this person has betrayed you, they've hurt you, um, there's something key that indicates that you're a little less trusting of this person and a little less trusting of what they say and 
think it has to do with the fact given there's the you know multitude of swords and multitude of wands i think it has something to do with the fact that this person has broken your trust or has hurt you in the past and so you've got your guard up this time around yes they come back and they want to communicate something with you and yes there's still chemistry and there are still feelings but there's also this lack of trust or there's also this suspicion like you're suspicious will they hurt you again you know can you believe what they say they've broken your trust before will they do it again so i feel like you're a little suspicious you're a little hesitant and you know what that's not a bad thing i just think you've got your guard up um and i don't think it's a bad thing at all i think there's something about this that does warn you to proceed with caution especially if you feel like you know you need to build trust back up with this individual right because it's just not Trust is something that's earned. It doesn't just come out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, there's something here that I feel like in the time and the space that you've been apart from this individual, there's something here that I feel like has it kind of reinforced what they feel for you or it has, this, they've been doing a lot of reflection, a lot of reflecting, a lot of introspection and they've been making sense of what feels like a bit of a tangled web. I honestly feel like this is someone who's either played games with you or who has made things a little bit more complicated than they should be in the past. Um, but they were, they were really, I don't know, it just feels like they were... The thing is, I think this person was really caught up in a whirlwind of emotions. And when someone is constantly reacting to the emotions and reacting to the situations and the circumstances that are playing out for them, they are confused because instead of just embracing um, and accepting the situations, they are resisting it because they're trying to dissect it and pick it apart and resist it and understand it. And that leads to a lot of confusion. So I think that there's something in the past where this person has acted, I don't know, look, they, they may have played games with you. They may have, un intentionally or unintentionally, um, they may have made things far more complicated than they should have been. And I think that they've, in the meantime, they've had some time to think and reflect on, you know, the role that they've played in the separation or in the breakup or in the relationship. And now this person is coming back like with a newfound confidence or it feels like they have this new information or they're somehow enlightened and they come back and... It does appear as though this is someone who desperately wants to say something to you. Um, who desperately wants to... They have this message that they desperately want to reach you, okay? Um, you'll also find that this person is going to be really persistent. Like this is someone who's really going to pursue you. So they come back and they chase you. Um, or... They're really insistent on seeing you, on catching up. You'll you'll find that this person is very uh, very persistent, very insistent on seeing you. Um, yeah, and they're definitely doing the chasing. Like if they were the if you were the chaser before, something has switched up here. The energies have shifted, and they come back to do all the chasing, right? Um, or if they were the runner, they come back and now they do the chasing after you. Something he has shifted in the energy, something he has shifted for this person. They see things a little bit differently. Whereas before, they didn't see things as clearly as they do now. And so, I feel like whatever it is that they're trying to communicate to you, yeah, Queen of Swords, there's clarity there, okay? They're no longer confused, they're no longer you know, uh, disorientated, they're no longer sending mixed messages, they're coming in with clarity. They know what they want, which is you. They also know what they have to do, you know, to pursue you, um, to, you know, try and reconnect, to try and make things work. So it, it feels like before they were a little aimless, right? Whereas now they have direction and it's like they're making a beeline straight for you. Alright guys, and I'm going to leave the messages there. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. It does help the channel to grow. Bye for now.